Hello everyone. Today we are going to look at how to fix the uneven inset and bevel issue in 3ds Max. So you can see that I have two objects here and both have been modeled using the same uh, way. Uh, but the only difference is one object, this one, uh, the red one has been scaled and then inset and beveled. However, the other object does not have the scale option. So if you see the scale, it is 100, 100, 100. But if you look at this one, it has 100, 531. So you can see that if you have uneven scale, and then if you add modifiers, you get undesirable results. So we will see how this works and how to get around and fix these issues. So whenever you are modeling, I'll just go to reset. And when you create a, an object, for example, if you start with a cube and then you want a long object, so you scale it and make it long, right? And the same object can be created directly by using the box option. Okay, and then if you have used the cube option, then you can convert it to editable poly, and then you can model the vertices. So we are not using the scale tool here, but we are simply modeling the sub objects. So if you look at the scale tool, the scale is 100. Uh, when we created a cube and added a edit poly modifier and moved the vertices. Here, this is a cube which has 100. And this is the cube which has been scaled. All right. So the values are different. And I will convert this to editable poly. And I'll convert this also to editable. Okay, so this object I'll delete because it's the same as this one. So we will make it uneven and I'll do the same thing with this one. Make it uneven. Alright, and then we'll go to face mode, select the face. So this is the one which has uneven scale. Okay. So if I insert this and I'll go to edged faces, you can see that the distance from the edge is more here and the distance from the edge is less here. And then if I add a bevel modifier on top of this or chamfer, Where is the chamfer or is it bevel here in max? Yeah. Okay, so if you look at the chamfer, we'll increase the sample segments to three, and you will see that. A chamfer uh, on the longer side is more than on the uh, shorter side because there is a scale issue here. So we'll do the same thing here. We'll select this one and create an inset. And now you can see that the distance from the edges are even. And then if you add a chamfer modifier, and the chamfer is where did the object go? Chamfer from the edges is same from both sides. Okay, and then you can increase the amount. So you can see that the chamfer is more smooth here than the chamfer. 
okay so how to solve this problem if you have this issue for example if i get rid of the chamfer modifier here and then um, we will target well these So to get rid of this scale option, you go to utilities and then you click on the reset X form, then the reset selected and then it becomes 100. Okay, in the modify panel, you can see that X form is applied. So you simply right click and go to editable poly and now your model has 100, 100, 100 scale. And now if you insert, you get the same results okay so if in case you apply a scale then uh, you need to uh, apply the x form modifier um, go to a, uh, reset the x form and make sure that the scale is always zero so that you get more desirable results in modeling and it will also help you in texture mapping to get more desirable results so that's about it. Keep learning. Thank you. Bye-bye.